So hello, good morning my friends. Um, today I decided I would come for a walk um, in this little forest here behind me um, in the hope of finding some signs of spring and, and to find woodpeckers. Um, and no sooner have I gotten out of the car I can actually hear a woodpecker, and I've just seen him fly from one tree to another. I hope the microphone on this little camera can pick it up. I think, from the call, it's a grey-headed woodpecker. So you can see the car is just there. I've literally just gotten out of the car. a different one actually. There's one who's who's drumming and a different one that's calling. Okay let me put this camera down and see if I can set myself up here. Bear with me. Things have gone all quiet and I can't hear him now, either drumming or calling. Where is he? Oh, I see him. Oh, he's way at the top. lost them again. Okay, let me just set this up. I can hear him still, but I can't see him. Another one over there. Okay, it's all gone quiet. So I shall hang on here a second and see if I do manage to spot him and uh, see if I can get uh, a little bit of video of him. So bear with me. Okay, so amazingly enough, I haven't seen the, um, the woodpecker, I haven't been able to spot him again but I have found a blue tit nest and the um, parent is going in and out of the nest that's a stunning little bird and I'm guessing uh, he's preparing the nest for his family because it's probably mid-March, still a bit early for them to uh, have, have got eggs on the nest already, but I could be wrong. Like I said, only a guess. There's a lot of little birds in this stand of trees just here. 
so I'm gonna see if I can get some video of them on on this camera first and then I'll, I, might, I might try some some stills as well. Okay, so I managed to get a couple of seconds of uh, footage of uh, a greater spotted woodpecker um, drilling away. Uh, although he's behind a whole bunch of branches and everything, so I'm not sure how clean it is as an image and if even it's in focus because it's without and I need to get an EVF for this, uh, a viewfinder, um, to make my life a little bit easier rather than trying to focus off the back screen. Um, but a really good start just having gotten out of the car. So I could probably spend the whole day just in this stand of trees. Of that I won't. Uh, so I'm gonna um, shoulder the gear and uh, carry on into the woods and hopefully uh, this is a good sign of how things will be for the rest of the, the morning. So uh, yeah. grey-headed woodpecker uh, going into a hole in the tree on the other side then. of holes as well in all the trees around here. And that one looks fresh too so I might hang hang around here for a bit and see if there's anything using this hole in the tree here and see if the grey headed woodpecker comes back as well. Robin. Okay, so the um, the grey header didn't come back, and whatever was using that hole didn't turn up either. So I'm going to carry on down. Oh, I think that's the grey headed again. Okay, let me stop here and see if I can uh, if I can spot him. It's so difficult to spot in all this woodland. It's one of the hardest things photographing birds in a woodland. It's from all the jumble of branches and and now that. Um, Spring is arriving, the, leaf, the trees are starting to leaf as well, which is concealing the branches the birds are perched on even more.
but it's also what makes it so much fun. Firstly trying to spot the thing and then trying to get a clean shot of it. Okay, let me pause this because there's only so much you can uh, watch of me looking through binoculars and see if I can spot him and uh, So I walked all the way to the top of the woodland and uh, along this beautiful little uh, river and um, it's really quiet up at this end. There's a little bit of uh, birds chirping but other than that really really quiet. So I have heard a lesser spotted woodpecker as well but and I saw him flip between the trees, but I couldn't get a shot of him. Um, so I've decided I'm going to go back down to the beginning. Um, where most of the, uh, the birds seem to have congregated. And uh, probably find a spot to sit. And uh, spend an hour or two just waiting and seeing what... Uh, what happens in front of me rather than me running around trying to uh, stalk them. So you can see just how pretty it is here. So anyway, so um, yeah, I'll catch up with you in a little bit when I've found a spot to um, to uh, camp out in for a bit. So I've just come back to um, the, the place where I spotted the uh, grey-headed woodpecker and I'm focused on the hole that he was coming in and out of uh, in the hope that uh, that is his nest and uh, he might come back. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to make myself a, a coffee. So, yeah, I, I mean, it's been a struggle really walking through the woods. There's been a lot of birds very high up in the trees, um, very concealed by the uh, branches. Branches, It's a real mess of branches and the, they have, the trees have started sprouting leaves now as well, which hasn't made it easy either. Um, so I'm just going to hang here and see what might come into my field of view. Um, for an hour or so and um, then call it quits for the day. There's uh, a large woodpecker of some kind drilling behind me that I can hear um, and it's probably the grey-headed or one of the larger uh, ones like the um, a, a green or the uh, great spotted one. Um, so yeah I'm just gonna hang here and um, see what happens.
So I left the spot where I was uh, sitting having my coffee because the uh, grey-headed woodpecker didn't turn up. And I came down into the woods uh, to a different part which is a little bit swampy. And I've suddenly been surrounded by a whole bunch of sheep and goats. And quite lovely actually. They're very cute, but they're very stinky as well. So after a really strong start, um, it's proven to be really difficult and there are so many trees with holes in them and fresh holes at that and evidence of uh, woodpecker activity and I've been hearing them and seeing them flit around from tree to tree high, very high up but I haven't been able to record any, really. Not properly, not as well as I would hope to um, capture them. So I might end up just going to where I first started, by the roadside. It is lovely down here though, in the, um, in the middle of the, the woods. It's just I can't get close to anything. And after the um, sheep and goats came and went, it's all gone quite quiet again. With the exception of a few small songbirds. must be dozens of woodpeckers though in this wood because uh, there's so many trees with um, marks and fresh marks at that that the, that the uh, woodpeckers have been digging into the trees okay so um, I came back to the spot that I started out at there's uh, not very much, it's gone really quiet now. So uh, I think I'm going to call it there. Uh, probably be worth coming back in 10 days, a couple of weeks time. And hopefully spring will be in full swing. And uh, the birds will be uh, a lot busier running around, looking for food, making nests, etc. So I shall try again in a couple of weeks and probably be worth coming a lot earlier in the morning as well. Okay, so um, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, yeah, such as it is. Uh, it turned out to be not such a productive day, but that's the uh, way of uh, wildlife photography, bird photography. Yeah, anyway, so thanks for watching and hopefully I shall see you again very soon. Bye for now.